Hi there, uh, my name is Paul Darby from DotScope. Uh, just in this quick video, I want to just show you how you can deploy uh, some custom uh, numbering sets. So numbering sets or page numbers, pagination, uh, all of that is stored under the header and footer option inside uh, PDF Docs. So what I've got here is a test machine, and really what I want to do is create it on here, and then we can then I'll show you how to deploy it. So the first thing we need to do is take a look at our header and footer sets. And you can see that by default, we have uh, a couple of uh, options for page numbering. So page numbering one will put a page, not page one, page two, page three at the bottom of your document. Page numbering two will put page one of 10, two of 10, etc. at the top, um, top right. And then, of course, we have an option for Bates numbering as well. Now, I can apply those to the document, and this custom header and footer will just enable me to do that in a one-time, you know, update that document in a one-time only, uh, on a one-time only basis. But what if I want to be able to create my own, um, own num numbering sets? So for that, we need this manage header and footer set. Now, if I choose that, it brings up uh, the numbering set option, which is the header and the footer for my pages. And I may decide that actually I want the page number to appear in the center footer. So I can simply say, let's do page. You can put some text around it. You don't need to. But I'm going to do of. I'm going to build a string. Page number of total pages. Okay, so page one of 10, two of 10, something like that. Now I want to save this. Now I've got some options. I can change the font, of course. Um, I can change some appearance options depending on how I want this to be. So I don't want to shrink the document. So the page numbers always appear in what I like to call clean air. Um, but also you've got the ability, if you're using Bates numbering, of course, to change the, the way the Bates numbering works as well and, and configure your Bates number. However, I'm happy with this set, so let's go and save it. So I choose to save it as, and I'm just going to call this one Paul's set. For now, we click OK. So if I now click OK away, of course, I come back with my documents. Now I have my two defaults for the numbering and pause set as well. And essentially what I want to do is to deploy this um, to all my users. Actually, the page numbering one or two, we could lose one of those. You could remove those if you don't want those. Now, the way to remove those is back to your manage header of footer sets, of course. You have the sets in names at the top here, so header, foot, header and footer sets. You select the one you want, and you think, actually, I don't want that, and you can simply just delete it here, just like that. So that will leave you a page numbering two. Um, actually, for completion, let's get rid of that one as well, just like that. Okay, so that leaves me with Bates numbering and pause set. So I'm happy with that. So now I need to deploy it. Now, the way PDF Docs works, of course, is we have what we call a central configuration location. The easiest way to find that uh, in PDF Docs is if you click on File and click on About, you will have this central config file in the middle here, and you can see mine says D Docs called PDF Docs. Now, if I just go to that just for a second, we're going to come back to this. You will see that D Docs called PDF Docs. That's where that section actually finishes we automatically look for something that says PDF docs underscore config. And in there, of course, we have our configuration. So let me show you how we how we work with that. Now, just one last note on this configuration location. If you need this to be in a different location on a set of machines, that's no problems. It's all held in the registry. OK, so in the registry here, if I just scroll this down a little bit, you can see that under software local machine, OK, uh, .scroll PDF docs, we have an option that says central config. Uh, it gives it the location. The central config auto update this bit here. If it's set to number one, it means that PDF docs will update itself automatically every 24 hours looking for uh, the new configuration in there. But let's just take a look at what we want to do right now. So let me just pop that closed. So we want to go to that location. So where do we get our information from? Well, we just created a new letterhead, a new set. And the reason I said do that on a test machine is simply the first place we update this, of course, is in your roaming profile. That is located, if you do that, uh, sorry, if you do that percent app data percent, that takes you to the roaming profile on this machine. Double click on DotScope, double click on PDF Docs, 
and double click on config and you will see all of this information in there header and footer sets is what we are actually after and in fact we're a user so we created it so under the user folder here is the two xml files that we need now we do need both of these if i open one up just to show you if we open up the header and footer set we can see that we have our bates numbering in here and all the information relating to that and we have pool set as well so that's the file that tells us what the letter, what the set's going to do the mapping file just tells us the titles, okay? So numbering and pull set. So we need both of those. So copy them, right click and cut them or uh, copy them, it's up to you, but we need to clear that folder anyway. So let's just do cut. We then navigate to that D PDF dots config. So D drive dots corp, which was on my machine, remember. Uh, PDF docs and there was our config and you'll find that header and footer folder there as well double click on that double click on server right click and paste now you've pasted those into the central config PDF docs will use those uh, but let's get <coughs> testing on our machines first so we can finish the uh, we can close that down let's go back to our roaming profile dots cool PDF docs, config, go to our header of footer sets. Under the user, nothing there anymore. Remember, we cut them. So if there are something in there, if you copy, just delete them out of there. And server, there's nothing there either. Okay, so um, there's, there's nothing there for us to use on our local machine. PDF docs is closed. Just make sure it's closed. If you've got a little icon like this, just ensure that um, you just exit out. And then we just run PDF docs again. And that will bring PDF docs uh, up to us. Now, just to test it on your machine, I said every 24 hours, but if you want to force this through, just go to here. You've got an option here for load default settings that will grab the settings from that location and bring them down to your local machine. Uh, so if you click, um, sorry, update, not local. Okay, click update. It says here the applications have been updated. Please restart PDF docs. So what that update has done has gone here and updated your machine. Anyway, click OK, pop that closed. Again, just make sure PDF Docs is not running down here, which it's not. Fire up PDF Docs. And what you will see now, if you open up your organizer, OK, you will have that numbering set available for you to use. OK, so when it comes, drop it down. You'll see you've just got those two sets now. OK, on your local machine, you will notice that actually what it's done, so we've gone to the roaming profile again, I've gone to PDF docs here, config, header and footer sets. If I take a look in user, okay, it's brought those back straight down for me into there, okay? So that's what it's sort of done. Once you put something in the server setting, it will bring those down uh, for you there. Okay, so pretty much that's how we bring uh, those together. Uh, I hope you found the video useful. We can do the same thing with stickers and stamps and all that as well. Um, but really, I uh, just wanted to focus around the header and footer for you. If you get any questions, please do not hesitate to contact uh, myself or your account manager. We'll be able to help you. Okay, but for now, many thanks. Speak to you soon.